right now it's around 34 degrees and the winds are around 20 to 25 miles an hour uh, and even with Rona going on the mask helps it does keep you warm jacket with a hood makes a big difference get you some gloves okay if you come here in the winter if you come here in the summer go naked because I've been here in the summer <laughs> but I'm just kidding but we're gonna walk on out to Mathers Point and uh, let's take a view of the Grand Canyon From one end of the park to the other is where I've gone now. I want to show you here that you can hike a lot of the rim or walk. It's actually a, a paved trail that you can go. I just want to show you right here on this map, we were at Mather's Point. Now Mather's Point was further back over here, okay? But it's a walk all the way around. They call it the Trail of Time. And that's where we're at now is where we are right now. And we're going to go this way towards the Vercamps Visitor Center to Train Depot. We won't go over there, but the El Tovar, the Bright Angel Lodge is over that way. Uh, and then Maricopa Point. Um, it's, it's all a, a walking trail that you can do. Uh, and I know that this part here is all very simple and walkable. I don't know once you get past here how easy it is to walk. I just haven't been. But we're just going to explore this little area here and uh and that'll be pretty much it and as you see this is the the trail and it's walking it's walking the rim quite a little bit per step down there as you see some benches along the way also and this area here right in here is also where you're going to find the bulk of your restaurants the bulk of your lodging um and <laughs> parking is is a premium trust me you know expect i mean we're here in the dead of winter and they were almost full and i can just imagine how uh it would be during the summer in the peak travel season and then we're also dealing with rona so there's not that many people here but anyway we're gonna go from here and we're gonna walk that way and just see what it has to offer um, these trails are very easy and they can be very leisurely um, and here's a mark in the trail they the million years ago the trails of time 1970 the timeline as you walk through this trail here that's what they're going to do they're going to have plaques and stuff like this that's going to tell you what's going on in in time with the grand canyon <clears throat> uh, i didn't walk it i didn't really have the the time to be doing that today 1980 a trail it's just 1980 but um They've got these little golden medallions all in here. I guess uh, uh, 1990, the trail, 91, 92. I don't know right, exactly what they mean. I mean, they have to probably do a little more research. Keeps going back. Let's see. And there you go, rim trail. And that's what this is, it's part of the rim trail and you just follow it along um, as you're walking. But, uh, and here's the Vercams, the museum store, visitor center, gonna be like any other souvenir shop, visitor center. Normally they would have water available, but now they're telling you to go somewhere else because the last time I was here, it's public. You just drink right out of it. Well now because of Rona, you gotta be a bit more safe about what they're doing, doing right? So, for Cam Studio Curio Store, it's telling about that. As you walk on down, you see more of the rim. And I mean, it's kind of quiet here right now. It really is. It, this, it's um, and maybe because of winter and the Verona, but another peak down the, the uh, view. I don't know if you can see it in this, but right down in there. Right in there is some type of building and stuff. I'm guessing it's part of the trail. And I'm walking. And here's one of the parking lots. Uh, and I think that's the Hopi house. It's kind of built out of all the stone that's on the area. 
Grand Canyon Village is what they call all this. Okay. And that's, we're right here. You see where, then we're just going to go over here and Bright Angel Lodge. We're going to actually end up out here at Lookout Studio. And uh, that might be as far as we go. But, because you're going to need to come here and explore yourself. Nothing like seeing the real thing. Um, but let's do this. Let's go on back over here by the rim and see what it has to offer as we walk along. Um, I mean, that's what it's all about here is the view, right? The view. And where we slept at was a view of the rim, you know? Rhythm of erosion, okay? It's just, you know, explain how the erosion is handled and a little bump out so you can go see, look further down the rim again. But we'll keep walking the trail. And last night driving around here, we had to stop several times for elk crossing the road, you know, trash, recycle, bear proof bears can't get him you know i'm just walking down the rim and it's a little chilly out here it's a little chilly i'll get in the shade here and i'll show the hopi house maybe it'll be a little bit better from the other side um but that's <clears throat> that's it Try and show you around a little bit. Uh, let's see. And that's the Hopi house. We'll get over here to the uh, boards that kind of explain what's going on. Uh, it's kind of an old, uh, I guess that's what you would call it, the, the uh, Pueblo. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. It's mainly just all rock, but here it is, the Hopi house. Okay, opened in 1905, El Tovar Hotel, that's this right there, okay, um, pretty cool hotel, uh, beautiful interior too, I was there the last time, you know, I'm not going to show you everything here, I want you to come here and explore some things, we've got a real unique interior there kind of a hunter lodge-ish lodge thing going on so all right we're back at the rim as you see you, you just can't beat it, especially with the sun when it first came up this morning I'm not sure if i have i may have some video of that colorful testimony explaining the different colors i don't know how well you can read that but they're very vivid right now, you know. We're walking around the back side of the, the uh, El Tavar. And a little garden out here with the flag, you know. They got cages around certain bushes because I think the, the elk or whatever been munching on them, right? So, I'm just, it's a nice little walk. And I'm, I'm interested to see if there's been a restaurant remade. And I think, because uh, I had dinner here one year, Native Plant Garden. Let's see. Okay, there. I don't know if you can see it. They've got all that fenced off, trying to get the native plants going. <clears throat> um, that I ate dinner in. And it's been so long I can't remember exactly where, but boy, that almost looks like it could have been it, like they've added on or something. Um, I really think it is, because things had changed in the 20 years or so since I was here. Let me walk back over here real quick and see. Because we ate at a restaurant and if I remember right at the time, this was it, because that's the restaurant. However, that 
end part there w was not on the building. It wasn't here at the time, it's been an add-on. And we were eating down in here, all the windows, well actually you can see them, have little barrels around them now. They have barrels around them now, like access points. Well, when we were here, the dirt was actually on the window and you could see out, okay? And what made it even more unique is, while we were eating, there was a thunderstorm and we had about maybe two inches, a little bit more of hail and uh, it just blanketed the area. I mean, it was almost like snow. I mean, the rim and everything was just beautiful. But we stayed in a rustic cabin, meaning uh, <laughs> the only thing we had in there was a sink and a toilet, if I remember right. There wasn't even a shower. Um, in other words, there was no hot water. And there was just a bed, no TV, no nothing. And, and when we got here that day, it was hot because it was in the middle of the summer. But after the hailstorm, we didn't need any air conditioning to sleep that night. It was cool. It was really nice. Uh, but I think that's the hotel. They just uh, have added on and things have changed uh, since I was here those 20 years or so ago. But more of the rim. Let's see here. Let tell a little bit about the wildlife and stuff that's here. Let's check this out. Check it out. California condor in Arizona, of course. They just don't live in California, right? I don't know if you can see it over there. There's the lookout. That's where I would really want to end up. I've been there several times. I like the vibe it gives off. Morning. But, but again, traveling around the rim. Walking around the rim. I seem to remember all these walls, though. The last time I was here. Uh... And you can tell that's a 50 Aries hotel. <clears throat> Not sure which one it is, um, but it's really non-distinct, just a basic hotel. I'm surprised they're only two stories. I'm surprised that they won't be jacking them up a few stories in the years to come to accompany the people that want to stay here. But. rim view can't get enough of that can you just regular vegetation let's see who's here trans canyon telephone line built in 1935 has been placed on the national register okay must have been right here i guess yeah i'm really not sure but you get little tidbits like that as you walk around the trail. Really gives you some perspective on the history. But the winds are rather calm right now. It makes it much better. And what's even more unique is that sometimes they give you this. They give you a view without a railing. <laughs> but right off the edge. Boom, boom, boom. It's a little bit intimidating. Kind of a rush, like nice little thrill, you know. But, but I like it. Same hotel. See how the business side, they've only got this one little side over here for pedestrians to walk. That's all they really need, I guess. But I'll be honest with you, in the summertime, it's pretty packed, you know, when there's no Rona around. Um, you know, I said it's been 20 years ago, <laughs> and I'm not sure about all the things. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but <clears throat> um, it's hard to tell. You know, that could have been it there, but... Rim trail, more about the rim trail. What I was saying was, 
things have changed and here's another steakhouse that could have been it and they just raised it you know and like uh that or this or down here um i'm really confused it was just so neat back then that you could sit on the ground you actually saw the earth through the window and then you could see the basics of the rim beyond kind of like let me show you here almost like what those windows are doing if you can see them so i don't know if i just just don't know and they've added stuff but oh well it is what it is more of the rim we're gonna go around there's the gift shops coffee house they are open for business which is a little bit surprising you know um, trash recycling hang on to your trash <clears throat> bright angel lodge you know but that's where i just was i might have been it i don't know <clears throat> a little more down the canyon here and i guess some administrative things i guess they have to have them here that's a suite ah uh, okay so i'm guessing these are actual hotel rooms that people can have yeah that's pretty cool becky o'neill suite bucky's cabin you know and back up in there some more cabins that's pretty neat yeah lookout studio gifts inside lookout studio I'm not creative but it makes me feel like I've got creative juices when I come in here I don't know why let's go in I gotta put my mask on gotta put my mask on before you can do anything you know that's just how it is around here these days gotta get it on yeah excuse me a moment while I do this Okay, let's go on in here. So, yeah. There we go. There we go. Pretty cool. I remember all the terrace is closed. You can't go out there. <laughs> and but you can go up here to the balcony the balcony which is pretty cool something's dripping maybe they have a leak i don't know <clears throat> okay. it's pretty cool i'm outside it's a pretty cool vantage point and a couple of lookouts here normally they would have that terrace open right down there which you can go see but another view and there's all the lodges another view of another rim and that's what makes this so special to me this little gift shop and everything you know and trust me when it's summer and peak there's a lot of people here but like i said that's normally open and you can walk around it you can even walk down the terrace there a little ways and get and get different vantage points of the rim in the canyon you know it's really cool visit the lookout studio and give them some business when you come and let's go back in like i said i've been here several times and i really like the idea of supporting them just makes it nice oh, these. Whew, $27 that's okay thank you
feel like I, there you go, the door was closing so slowly and it's so cold. But, and I have it. Okay, we're back outside. And there's more of the trail. Kolb Studio Art Gallery. Here's a little bit for the walk down, not too far. Let's uh, see what we got here. Yeah. I don't know if it's uh, I don't know that I've ever walked down to the gallery. Some more cabins, which you can rent. I'm sorry I don't have that info for you so far as being able to get there. Uh, but you go to the Grand Canyon website, I'm sure you'll find the majority of it. I don't know if I want to go to Cold Trail or Cold Studio. Let's see. What time were you coming up when it's cold? Huh? What time was it when you were coming up? All right. Okay. Uh, I did make it down to the Kolb Studio, but <clears throat> looks like it's closed. I guess they've closed it. Can't go down in there. Several trails, Rim Trail, Bright Angel Trail, water and toilet. Let's just walk over here and here's the building. <laughs> if we go all, you can do that. I'll go all the way down and take a the <laughs> There we go. It's a beautiful view, I think. Now, as you saw those folks, you can take a choice and take hikes. You know, you, you don't have to just walk this rim trail, which is made for the, the layman, kind of like me, you know, easy walking. Looks like they got their hiking poles and they're ready to do some serious hiking. And then they take off on a different trail. And they did. Now you can see, they're taking the Bright Angel Trail. But today, that wouldn't be for me. But you can follow this rim on around Edge of vastness. And another view of the rim. So, and you can continue on. It, uh, you spend your day just walking and looking. That's just how awesome it is. Um, and you never really get tired of that view. And I know I don't. You know, but even on the outside, looks like it's been recently uh, refurbished or you know maintained because they are maintained very nicely. Up that way, I don't know if you see it's going All right. Oh well, I hope you enjoyed your little walk around the easy side of the Grand Canyon Trail Rim. If you enjoyed everything I showed you, please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe! Right? If you didn't, I'm gonna tell you. But there's one view I've never had, and that's the view from the bottom of the rim. You know? I'm 61 years old and I hope I can one day see that view up. But as I was saying, subscribe, comment, hit the notification button, watch me on my next video. But I do appreciate you joining along and stay tuned for the next Double D, Derek's Destination.